And you know, tonight we have talked about water, life, and education, and there's no better place to get details on all those stories and more than KRBC's website, bigcountryhomepage.com. Our Carly Cross is here in studio now, breaking down the top local stories catching your attention most this week. Carly, what do we got? Thank you for having me in again, Noah. Well, like we usually see, it's looking like tragedy kept everyone reading this news cycle. Keep watching for this week's Big Country Beat. Starting low with number five, it's Big Country Politics with News Director Manny Diaz and HG72 Representative Drew Darby. In this segment, he talks about his recent victory for the Concho Valley and hot button Texas topics. This is about vouchers. This is about public dollars going to private, private and parochial hands without any accountability, any transparency, or any open enrollment policy. And number four, it's APD's weekly most wanted list. Abilene Crime Stoppers releases a list of 10 suspects wanted for various crimes. This week, half of these charges involve crimes against children. If you can help police out, you'll be eligible for a cash reward. Coming in at number three, two convenience stores were robbed early Wednesday morning in South Abilene. Police say the suspect had a weapon and are searching for them. Next up, tragic breaking news yesterday revealing the shooting death of a one-year-old in Knox City. Texas Rangers have taken over the investigation. No arrests have been made. And coming in at number one on web is the loss of two Abilene teens in a car wreck last Thursday. Annabelle Neely and Brandon Woods, who were expecting a baby boy in May. She couldn't wait. She's, she was going to go baby clothes shopping. and She was excited. And I think she would have made a great mom. Alrighty, that is all I have for this week's Big Country B, and it is Good Friday, so please have a safe and happy Easter weekend. Noah, what do we have coming up next? Thank you, Carly. And as we said, details to all those stories and more are available right now on the KRBC website. That's a bigcountryhomepage.com.